This is the Blackwing Illegal Pad. Such a great name. It comes in a set of two. It's the Blackwing take on the 8.5 by 11 Legal Pad. It has 50 sheets of high quality 80 GSM ivory paper that is sewn bound and perforated so that you can, uh, oh, so that they can be torn away. I'm looking at this from a bit of a distance and it's small. <laughs> so that it can be torn away when you want to. Now, this is not in itself known to be fountain pen paper, as in black wing paper. So we're gonna start out by simply saying, what about the back of the page? Well, that tears away nice and easy. Looking at the back of the page, really surprising. Look at how black wing paper really is handling fountain pen incredibly well. You only see the slightest bit of uh, show through. It's, it, it's nothing. I wouldn't even call it ghosting if I was reviewing an ink on this paper because I would feel very confident writing on the back of this page. So if we take a look at the color clarity of what we're gonna be getting, we do get to see that the paper itself, it's not white. It does not say that it's white. Not being pure white does mean that we could expect on a more translucent ink for the paper to alter that tone a little bit. We're gonna go on just one or two of these and then we're gonna just take a brief look at them. Looking at a dry fine nib, you see that we get basically the same color. We get no feather, we get no spread. The, it's performing incredibly well. Look down at this wet fine, same tone. No feather, no spread, looking great. How about a medium flow, medium nib? With the medium flow, medium nib, slightly, ever so slightly. If it was not side by side like this, it wouldn't look any darker at all. Line that up a little bit. How about a medium flow broad? Medium flow broad, now at this point we have the same tone. We still have no feather, we still have no spread. We still have great performance the entire way. What about a wet broad to try and really try that out? Nothing, no difference at all. This paper is being wildly overlooked in the fountain pen community. Now I have to be fair where this came from. I purchased it, but I became aware of how fountain pen friendly it was by taking taking a look at Van S pens. So it's only fair to point you towards them when it comes to being able to take a look at this paper. Thanks for watching.